Good morning. I'm a couple minutes late because at like 9.45, I've got uh, a package coming today. And it said it was six, min- uh, six stops away. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait and wait and wait. Well, I've just refreshed it. And it's still six stops away. So maybe he's got like a special stop or something. Hi, George. Do you know what I mean? Like a special stop. I don't know, but he's been there for like 25 minutes. Also, David's going golfing today, so you'll probably hear him say goodbye. And then obviously my package is probably going to come like right when I get started. So there's that. All right. So I asked David what I should do for this fish. What color should I make it? And he said, make it a tetra. I don't know what that is. So he sent me a picture. And it's a fish. So this is what I'm going for today. I've got a nice, that dark purpley color for this part. And I've got a bright blue for the middle there. I've got some red for the very end, black for an eyeball. We're just going to give it a go, okay? He suggested it, so I thought I should probably I should probably do it just this once. What are you itching? She's got an itchy tail. Okay. So I'm going to do super easy. And I'm going to go just a satin stitch or a long and short stitch um, all the way down. So I'll start with the dark color and do like a little outline type thing there. And then, um, yeah, go from there and add the, add the details in. So it's going to be a little bit weird because whew, we have all these separations. So in the end, it's going to be like a mix of like a, a bunch of straight stitches, basically. I'm going to go for three strands. What are you doing down there? Okay, and I'm just going to stitch over the eyeball and then go back later and do it. So just as a reminder, this is what I've got. A tetra. A tetra. David was very adamant that this is what I should stitch today. You okay down there? Yeah, she just did... The biggest sigh. So I'm going to go all the way from tip um, to tail. Uh, definitely at the top with this color. And then the bottom. And then I'll go back with um, the blue and the red. And do the blue in the front and the red in the back. So hopefully this will work. I'll end up doing um, this top fin here and this bottom fin here. Probably a completely different color. Maybe the blue. Hannah says, oh, we had those kinds of fishes in our tank when I was a kid. That's what David said. He said he went to a friend's house, like with his mom. And they had these blue and red fishes. And he thought they were really cool. So that's why I've decided to do it. For David. So I'm kind of just doing like a mix of a long and short stitch and a split stitch and a satin stitch where I see fit here. And this is more like a thread painting type um, situation because we're filling up the shape with the colors that we want. Um, and we're just kind of 
making them go where we need them to go instead of having to do the satin stitch with very straight horizontal parallel lines. Make sure you're tucking that in. Oh no, lots of people saying. Hold on, I'm just gonna scroll back. Melanie says, I hate that this is ending so soon. Absolutely, I'm always so sad from Hannah. Miriam says, me too. This has become a daily routine and been thankful to have this through these weird ass times. Sorry for the swearing. And Hannah says, I'm so amazed at how well all of those colors work together. Yeah, because it's nature in it. All quite bright and colorful. Just make sure that you're sticking that in there like this. So, like I said, this isn't really like a. It's like a mix of a, of a bunch of different stitches, and this is normally the stitch I use when I want to make something look a little bit more realistic because you can really manipulate the stitches to go in any kind of way you want. Um, not all of them are split stitch. Not all of them go into each other. Sometimes it's just filling in the space. It still sticks up the way. I heard a car outside, but it's not. It's not Amazon. Okay, so I've done some on the top. And in the picture, it looks like there's some on the bottom as well. Pretty much about halfway through. And it looks like they have more of a rounded nose than what I've done. So I'll make sure that it's rounded and not so pointy. Obviously, you can do a stripey fish, same technique. You could do this kind of satin split stitch the whole way through for the whole fish, and then go back later after you're finished and do uh, the stripes like I had initially planned. Um, you could just do those with just straight stitches, or you could do a little like chain stitch for each one. Um, I'm just trying to think of other ways that you could do this if you didn't want to make yours into a tetra like I am. Um, you could do a Nemo fish if you wanted to. I always forget what those are called, but the, ne the Nemo fish. And you can do like an orange, black, and white stripe. So I think they're orange and white stripes, and then they have just a black outline, if I remember correctly. So I'm just getting as close as I can to this here. Hannah says, I know I'm early, but is there going to be a Christmas stitch along? There will be, they're normally holiday themed, not necessarily Christmas. Um, so I know some people don't celebrate Christmas, so that's a little bit tricksy. Um, clownfish, yes. I can never remember the name of, of that fish. And same with the dory fish, the blue and yellow one, which is quite cute. Clownfish, I'll have to remember that. But yeah, there is two, uh, um, what do I want to say? Two holiday stitch alongs in the shop right now. There is the Holly Jolly 
Christmas or um, Happy Holidays. There's a bunch of different writings that you can get in the... Do I have it right there? I actually do. This one. And there's other things that you can put in there. And I think for that one, um, you could choose a different phrase if you wanted and I would write it for you. So there's that one that's in the shop still and all the videos are there too. And then there's a different one. Um, and it's like little holiday themed things. So there's like a present or whatever. star but I tried not to make them like super holiday themed or super Christmas themed because I know some people don't don't celebrate that so but yeah there will be I'm thinking maybe three more four more stitch alongs and then obviously patterns etc etc It's looking stunning. Thank you. I look better once you get some more colors on him, you know. So we've still got the light blue color to do. And the red, which I hope is going to blend in nicely. Okay, so let's stop for there. And then add the light blue. Bye. See you later. Bye, Good luck. Mm -hmm. Win all the points. All of them. Have a good day. stops are between here and little All the stops. no none of them all right we're just gonna add this blue in the middle the middle of little hmm. yesterday we got some zucchini and some cucumber and a big sunflower and two zucchini that's what it was outside little they were all 199 oh carrots that's what they were so we'll see we'll see if i can get them to grow What I'm waiting for is bags for people who, um, some people have ordered more than one kit or more than one item. And at the moment, uh, I'm all out of bags so that I can't package the two kits together. So I have about four orders that are all made up and they have been for like three days. And I can't send them because I can't just like tape the boxes together. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at this picture again. Looks like it goes right down the middle. Obviously, if I had less strands, then it would probably be more effective because I'm using three strands. It looks a little bit chunky, but I think it'll be okay. I've ended right where I've started. Okay, let's grab some red and we'll put... Oh, it looks like there's red here. Yeah, there's red here already. And I don't have to cut anymore. So I'll use this red that I already have and we'll okay. see if we can't... Bye! If 
I was being really particular, it looks like there's some like purple on the bottom and all that kind of stuff. But I really don't want to get too, you know, too into it. So it's not going to be a direct, a direct same by same, you know, but hopefully you'll get the idea of what it is. How far does this go up? Darn you, David, for having me make a Tetra fish. <laughs> It looks like it goes all the way back to his tail. And you can always do something fancy like we did before for this one, for the fins if you wanted, or you could just make them all one solid color like the satin stitch or it might be fun to do them a different, a different color, you know? I think it's quite cute. I mean, it's, I'm not going to lie. It's not what I initially planned, but I felt bad saying no, just like, no, that's not going to happen. So here we are making a Tetra fish. Although I do think a lot of people have had these fish, although I never had these fish. We never had um, a, like a saltwater tropical fish tank. We only had a freshwater fish tank. And we had like turtles, and, like gar pike, and all kinds of stuff that we'd catch from our lake. And then take them home for the winter and feed them and stuff. And then we put them back in the lake. got one strand here. Let me see if I can't feather in some of this. All this is really doing is just blending the colors a little bit. I can't wait. I can't. Bleh, 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 bleh. I can't wait to see what you guys do with your fish. I really kind of wish I did the stripey one now. <laughs> I don't hate it, but it's just. I think the stripey one would have been a bit more fun. <laughs> poor David the one time he actually makes a suggestion and I'm like yeah okay fine I'm like mm. Mm. do I have to okay so we've got a little bit of the color on, of the tail on here And I think I'm going to do this same thing here to this top fin and the bottom fin. Let's see 
how it works. I'm going to do just the one strand. So obviously this part um, of the tetra fish doesn't normally exist because they only have those small fins in the back. Are they freshwater fish? He said that he had a tropical fish tank and, and that they are tropical fish. I don't know anything really about fish. I mean, I know about like bass and bluegill and stuff, but like I don't know anything about tropical fish. <laughs> Sweet David. Maybe they are freshwater fish and he's just, just wrong. Okay, so we've got that one and then I'm going to just keep it going around this plant like this. I think Melanie is going to check because she's an angel. Yes, fresh water. Ha! I'm going to tell him when he gets home. Like, thank you for having me add these tropical tetras, which are actually freshwater fish, to my underwater sea life scene. I'm not unpicking this. So, blame David, y'all. To be fair, I should have just checked instead of being like, okay, babe, whatever you say. Because I even said, are you sure? Because this is definitely, there's like coral and stuff. Obviously, it's a sea life stitch along. Joke's on me, isn't it? He tried. I do love this for the fins. We've done this before. That's why I'm kind of not really explaining how to do it. Um, but we've used this before. We've used it two or three times now. So it's just a little buttonhole stitch slash. It just depends on how you look at it, I guess. Fly stitch. But super effective for fins apparently okay so we've got that I'm just trying to decide if I should put any other cut like lines in here anything like that whilst I still have the color out to make it not so like, bam, you know? Let's do a little eyeball and I think that we're finished for today. Now it looks like the, in the picture, the eyeball is actually um, this like light blue color around in a circle and then black in the center. So let's try and do that as well. I'm just thinking if there's a brighter, lighter color of blue that I could use to make it like pop a little bit more. That's green. I don't really have a lot of blue. Do you always have a lot of blue? I don't really use blue that much, I don't think. Can't wait until we can blow dry all of the extra lines off and see what it actually looks like. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so we're gonna go around in a circle. I'll show you the picture again after I've done this knot. There is a red and blue fish for the ocean. I'll DM you a picture. Thank you. Because I'm just thinking now it looks like this fish 
got plopped down in the water and is going to die soon. You know? Like we're about to have a fish funeral. Okay, so here's the picture again. No. Circle. Black dot. So let's try that. A big eye as well. Lord Almighty. What have I missed? Um, okay, so basically I asked David, I said this, he said, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do for the stitch long today? And I was like, oh, he's asking. That's nice. So I told him I was going to do this fish. And he goes, oh, make a tetra. That would be so cool. I used to have some tetras. And we went to a friend's house. And they used to have tetras. And I always really liked them because they were blue and, and red and, like, such a great memory. And I was like, oh, babe, that's really cute. I'll do that. Come to find out, they are freshwater fish. So they do not belong in an ocean. So once again, David has led me astray. So now I've just got a freshwater fish hanging out in a salty ocean. I'm trying to keep the cursing to a minimum because children, you know, there's children that watch this. So there's this big fat eye. I feel like you need some blue up here. You know, just a little bit. He just looks very, he looks very blue. Okay. So he's got a round eye. Yep. Whoops. So that's what I get for listening to David. Whoops. is I get a fish that doesn't belong in an ocean in an ocean. Whoa, this is really long. And now we just have to put his little eye in and a little mouth and hopefully, hopefully that'll be it for today. Tomorrow we just have some little fish in the background to do. And then it'll be a little bit longer because I'm going to show you how to close up your hoops. Um, and how you can display them. Sorry, the door is open. Jesse's outside. So it's a little bit like... Two stops away. Melanie says, I sent you a DM of a red and blue sea fish. It looks somewhat similar to yours. So this was not in vain, guys. Melanie saved the day. Look at that eyeball. We can even put like a little speck of white in there. Jesse, if you really wanted to. What was that? It literally sounded like she just threw up a little, but she didn't. I was like, oh my goodness. Plus that'll be on the video forever, you know? So, ooh. Okay, so we've got that. Let's give him a little, a little mouth down here. Like maybe there. Meat. He's got a small little mouth. <laughs> what are you doing? Goodness gracious, girl. So here's what he looks like. 
all done. My freshwater slash saltwater tetra fish. Or possibly the fish that Melanie's just sent me. Okay, so that's it for me. Let's zoom out. You can have a look at all of it. So pretty much all of it's done. So we've got these little fish that are flying around there or swimming. Okay, swimming. And we've got a little fish poking out there. This little fish poking out there. Turtle at the top. There we go. All right, so tomorrow is the very last day. I'll have the Google survey up tomorrow. So if you want to give any feedback or suggestions for the next couple stitch alongs or patterns or kits, you can do that. Um, it's all anonymous unless you want to leave your name at the end. So like, I don't know who says what. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to like hate you or anything. I really do appreciate the feedback. And yeah, um, be sure to go to the Barney Fox S-A-L hashtag and leave some likes and comments on other people's works to encourage and uplift. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.